want to thank you. We want to ask that you would bless our pastor, teacher, give him a word from heaven and give him more words that he can spread in us, spread in us. As I know, through your words, we will be able to move on. We're going to keep pressing forward to see what the end is going to be. And I know we perish, people perish without this lack of knowledge. So through the words and wisdom that you put on him, he's going to pass it on to us so that we could be enlightened our own. Uh, uh, knowledge about you. With these blessings in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Jacob was a carnal uh, type uh, patriarch. He was a carnal. He always <clears throat> operated in the flesh. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, he always trying to do things uh, his way. But that we come to the realization that the only way is the right way is God's way. Yeah. And if you come to that realization, you're going to win God's way. Uh, Jacob uh, tried to hook one uh, later. He did hook one uh, uh, Esau. Uh, we call Jacob the grabber. He was grabbing the heel. That's what his name means. And then he even grabbed the boy birthright, grabbed the boy blessing. And he went and grabbed all the labor uh, cows and stuff, and turned the water, put something in the water, made him turn to something looking like he had some type of disease. And uh, then when he fought with the angel all night long, he even grabbed the angels. Look, look, you're going to bless me when you leave here. But, but when you look at his life, what we come to understand, and, and listen, this is something that a lot of Christians don't understand. You know, we can look at teachers, we can look at preachers, we can look at leaders, and we tend to judge them by the things that they do, okay? I see a lot of people that call preachers this, preachers that, but it's not by uh, a preacher ability to teach or preach. It's not none of that, that that makes him worthy 
of being a spokesman for God. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing that I do would merit me to do God's will. God pick and choose whoever he wants. Yes. And it shows us that in Jacob. I mean, Jacob was so carnal, you know. And, and let me say this here. We have a lot of carnal Christians. Carnal means to be in the flesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know. And, 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 and listen, none of us in here have arrived That's right. from not being carnal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you talk, the Bible talk about the, the backbiters and you know, the gossiper, you know, you know, a lot of us gossip. Instead of giving the gospel, you much rather give gossip. Amen. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so when we look at him, uh, we look at Jacob, his experience, what he experienced was when that ladder, they call it Jacob's ladder, uh, it showed us that we have access to him. And our access, that ladder, uh, represent Jesus Christ. The only way we can get to heaven is through Jesus Christ. I don't care what the Muslims say. I don't care what Buddhism say. I don't care what none of them say. There's only one way. And Jesus is the way. The truth and the life. Amen. So, so then we get to Joseph. You want to talk about somebody Listen, that would cross every T and dot every I. This man never abandoned. Listen, listen. Never abandoned God. Listen, listen. He never got angry with God. He never disobeyed God. He stayed the course in the midst of all of his setbacks. Mm -hmm. All of the mess that people had caused him mm -hmm. in life. Now let them ask you a question. Uh, I had this one guy. He had done me much evil in ministry. And, and I, I was like 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 Paul. You know. Paul said, Paul said, Alexander the Copper Smith had done me much evil. Much evil. And and, and y'all guess who Paul turned Alexander over? He didn't turn him over to God. He turned him over to Satan. That's just how bad Alexander has done. So when we look at Joseph's life, look how low down his brothers were. Look, throw him down in the pit, sold him into slavery. Look, they cussed at him like a sailor. Listen, but but he never parted. Mm. And also, when we look at it, when uh, Miss Potiphar, you know, he went down there and Miss Potiphar was trying to get with him. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he said, no, nah, Miss Potiphar, you know, your husband, he been good to me. Mm -hmm. She took his coat and went back and lied. Mm -hmm. He said, look, look, that old low John Joseph was him. He was trying to get with me. Throw him in prison. Then he interpreted the button in the baker dream. Mm -hmm. And he said, look, don't forget about me. You know, have you ever had somebody who knew you didn't help out? But when it's your turn to get some help, huh? huh? First thing we going to say, oh, that I done done for this. God helped all with this. Joseph didn't do that. Listen, he didn't do that. He didn't do that. So listen, when we're looking at our lives, y'all listen to me. I've said this more times than all. I have been through some things in my life. I just never thought I should have went through. But now, you know how they say hindsight is 2020. You can look back over your life mm -hmm. and see when God has brought you through your highs and lows. Yes. It was to get you to the place He wanted you to. Yes. Look, look, in the world of fantasy, you had this little ant that was crawling on the ground. And the man he put his finger down. Ant turned it up. He put his finger down. The ant turned it right. Put his finger down. Finally, that little ant came to a little crumb of bread. And in the world of fantasy, the little ant said, Thank you, sir. When you look at your life and all what you have been through, God has just put his finger down to get you to turn to where he wants you to go. But what 
we do. We go cuckoo cuckoo cuckoo. Look, look. And let me tell you something. And that sounds funny, but you know what's not funny? Some people take right a note. Paul, they call him top of the bridge. He had a note on the seat and telling them why they jump. Listen, Satan would make you think that mm -hmm. your problem are larger than life. Yes. He's a deceiver. Yes, he is. But when we look at Joseph, man, if I can just <laughs> pattern myself, just get me a little bit of what Joseph had. You know, I wouldn't be a mess at some time. Sometimes I just mess it all up. You know what I mean? And because I'm more like Jacob. I'm not carnal, but I just try to do things myself sometimes. And what happened? We just get in God's way. Yep, yep, yep. How many of y'all have got in God's way? Everybody. Huh? Everybody. All right, I'm glad I'm not by myself. All right. But, but when we look at Joseph, at the end of Joseph's life, let's get around to chapter 50. Jacob had a short run of chapters, but Joseph had many. Okay, I think he had 11 chapters written. And he said, finally, when he got to a place where he got the brothers and the daddy was all back, they went to murmur and talk. And Joe said, look, don't mind that. He said, I knew y'all were just being low down. But see what had happened? God meant it for my good. Mm -hmm. yes. God sent me before yes. y'all yes. to preserve life. Yes. Huh? Hey, look, listen. If, 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 if Joseph had not gone that way, Israel would have perished. Mm -hmm. God couldn't let that happen. Mm -hmm. God had made a promise to Abraham. Mm -hmm. He said, listen to me, I will multiply. Mm -hmm. I will multiply. Mm -hmm. And I told y'all this here. If y'all know the story, I will multiply your seed more than the same on the seashore. He also said that the stars in the sky. Now listen, y'all. I never could figure, figure out the little dipper, the big dipper. Right. I mean, yeah, anybody here could figure that out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> be talking about probably would be small. I said, I don't see. And I see the star. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Y'all, if y'all don't grasp nothing else here tonight, this is what I want y'all to do. If you learn about Abraham, the stars represent us, mm -hmm. his spiritual children. Mm -hmm. yes. The sand represent his biological children. We are heirs of Abraham. He said, listen to me, I will bless you. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. And he said, look, I will, the land you own, I will give it to you. Mm -hmm. Why? Abraham is the father of faith. That's what it took to make Abraham right with God. Faith. Look, I, you know, we can give the, the biblical definition, fine, but if you ask the average Christian, they can't break it down. They say faith is the substance of things hoped for, but the evidence of things not seen. But then it also says without faith it's impossible to please God. I'm going to break it down in modern day vernacular. <laughs> Faith is just taking God at his word. Amen. Yes. It's just that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. let me ask you a question. Do I have anybody in here that have faith? Have faith? Huh? What do you say? Have faith. <laughs> <laughs> Take it at his word. Take it at his word. So, so, when we look at the vision. When we look at the dream, you know, they took three of these characters and it's telling us about a dream. The first night when we was talking, I was kind of uh let, let me let me get the right word. I was kinda like 
I was kind of like, uh, like confused. Because when I was talking to the children of God, when I was talking to the people of God, and I asked them <laughs> if they had some type of experience, and everybody was like, Wait, what is he talking about? And then someone went to study. You know, y'all heard of call backfire? <laughs> 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 no, backfire. <laughs> 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 like, it really, so, so come to find out, it was on me. It wasn't on y'all. So again tonight, when we talk about a dream, when we talk about a vision, now, the best way the Holy Spirit gave it to me is, have you ever envisioned anything? Like, think about it within yourself. And then you do it. Now, look, this is different. When, when y'all get ready to go to a wedding, Anything. Party. Mm -hmm. you, you go to the mall. Am I right? No. Okay. Especially if it's, it's a special event. Yeah. Especially you ladies. You, you know, I, I know how y'all do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you go to the mall mm -hmm. and you'll look at that dress. Mm -hmm. Then you look at another dress. Mm -hmm. Then you know why? Because it's not connecting what you envision. Right. So then, when you start getting it together, because it's here, mm -hmm. and then, you know you got to get the shoes. Yeah. And look, y'all, I, I like to play with you. I like to joke. That's you know, you got to know what girl to get. Then you got to stop by the hair place. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. You might one way along the other day. But whatever it is, you you envision right. Mm -hmm. Oh, but look, see when y'all come out, mm -hmm. them high heels can be hurting y'all. Mm -hmm. But y'all looking good. <laughs> y'all know y'all looking good. Why? Because what you have envisioned mm -hmm. now has become a reality. Mm -hmm. Y'all got me? Mm -hmm. So the best thing that I can give y'all here tonight is you may not get that dream. You may not get that vision like right. they did. Right. But God's going to give you a word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, look, look. In the midst of your sickness. Yes. In the midst of your despondency. Mm -hmm. In the midst of you dealing with midnight at midday. God's going to give you a word. Yes, yes, he And is. then, if you can envision that word, it's going to come to reality. Mm -hmm. I know some, everybody got some favorite scripture, okay, and favorite character. My favorite character of the Old Testament is David. New Testament is Peter. And when we Come to it. God give you that word. This was the word that was given to me. He said, All things work together for the good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, let me tell you something. Anybody dealt with some tough times? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about if you got a spend in your bank account. Right I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about paying a light bill. You, you know, old lady told me that money can fix it. You really don't have no problem. Right. Seriously. Look, listen. If, look, if money can fix something, that's not really a problem. You may not have the money, but still, money can fix it. Mm -hmm. But see, when you got stage four cancer, mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. when, when, when somebody that broke your heart, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. huh? When, 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 when your children and went, one way, you told them to go down. Money don't fix those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the more popular brother McCoy say, big trouble. Mm -hmm. Anybody had big trouble? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so listen, take that word. Apply it to that trouble. 
individual. Listen to it. It said, count it all joy when you fall into job and situation. Listen. Now, he asking you to do something. Now, come on now, Lord. No. Really, count it all joy. Because your trials have come to make you strong. Your trials have come to make you Come closer to God. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. And don't y'all fool me. It's just us in here. Look, look, look. It's just us. Don't fool me. When, what make you talk to God more? When the sun shines? Or when it's storming? Huh? Huh? Oh, listen to me. Listen to me. You going to talk to him more? Oh, yeah. When that storm rage. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Lord, please help me. Yes. Huh? Oh, man, look to me. Well, when things go to wind on you, yes. Yes. man, look to me. That would make me come back to church. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, listen, listen. Man, that's why I'm telling you. See, you raise your chairs up in church, mm-hmm. just hold on. Mm-hmm. Life's going to beat them right back here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I would say train them up in the way that they should go. Not yes. stay, like, but go. Like go. go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Man, yes. your, your hard time. Yes. Look, it'll make you come back. Yeah. Because you know why? Them hard time money can't fix that. That's right. No, man. Nuh-uh. Look to me. You know, I'm telling you. Don't mm-hmm. fix it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... We're dealing with a man today that is faithful to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Anybody, you know, a dilemma or a crisis. A crisis is this, y'all. A crisis is a turning point in your life. That's right. Come on, say Look, get it now. Get it. It's a turning point. Now, y'all might say, well, that ain't so bad, but you don't know whether it's going to turn for the good <laughs> or the bad. Yes. That's the price. Mm-hmm. A dilemma, hey, 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 hey. a dilemma is when you really want to do this, but you don't want to do it. And you know if you do this, how bad it's going to be. Yeah. But if you don't do this, how bad it's going to hurt you. Mm-hmm. Face with it. Mm-hmm. Face with it. Then listen, anybody here tonight face with it? Mm-hmm. Don't fool me. Yes. Look, look, yes. your face would suck. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and look, you know, you know the, the thing about it, some of them been faced with it for years mm-hmm. and hadn't come through it yet. Mm-hmm. Face with it. Don't know about it. Go this way. And, 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 and you know what makes a dilemma even uh, worse is you got the right to do it this way. Mm-hmm. And you got the right not to do it that way. That's what makes it hard. Because if you do it that way, can't nobody say nothing. Mm-hmm. Because you've done it by the law. Mm-hmm. But see, when God steps in, mm-hmm. huh? You got to do it his way. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you yes. got to do it his way. You got to do it his way. Mm-hmm. Now, this story here, you know, look, look, look. I don't want y'all to think I'm cocky or arrogant. I don't want y'all to think I'm braggadocious. I'm not pontificating. I'm not doing none of that. Okay? None of that. But I got some class about myself. I really do. And I know y'all do too. Now, now, y'all laughing at me. Y'all laugh. Some, some of them look at me like, yeah, yeah, y'all look at me like I'm crazy. But when we look at Joseph, man, I understood where this brother was. Mm-hmm. Listen, he was faced with a dilemma. Mm-hmm. Now, they about to get married. And, and, and the way the custom was back then, you know, they, they get set up through their parents. Who they going to marry? Mm-hmm. And all this stuff what we've done, and what they call us Westerners, 
Huh? Huh? Westerners, we do things different. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you gonna have some of them say, well, you gotta check up under the hood before you drive the car. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's how we do it in West, but, but back then they couldn't do that. Listen, everybody was peer. Peer. Y'all got it, we, we understand. Y'all laughing at me, but that's all right. Everybody was peer. Now, Joseph is faced with it. This young lady, she pregnant. <laughs> and let, let's read. Let, let's go. Let, let's get it. See, uh, now the birth of Jesus Christ. Uh, it, it's, uh, Is it now? Verse 18 we start here. Uh, Matthew. Yeah, it's on it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it said, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Listen to me. He had not known her in the way. Yeah, y'all got it. Y'all you know, it. He didn't know it. Nah, get okay in the back. Uh, uh, come here, Reverend Joe. Come here, Reverend. That's my auntie, so we're going to be. Look, look, I want you to sit right here. Now, at this time, yo, she's about four months pregnant. Now, I ain't no good pregnant. <laughs> Sure hope I don't get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> At four months, you sure? Uh, uh, uh. Sometimes? So, 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 right. But it, there's a possibility, right? Now, four months. Now, now, you know, you got to use your spiritual imagination. Or he, he court, you know, when you uh, in courtship, or uh, you engage, it's considered you being married. Mm -hmm. you, you really married. You just didn't have the wedding yet. Mm -hmm. But you still couldn't touch her. You could not touch her. She could not touch you. She's supposed to be peer. He's supposed to be peer. Mm -hmm. Now, Reverend Charles, you tell me, say, say, Joseph, Joseph, I'm pregnant. Who? <laughs> 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 who are you praying for? Holy Ghost. Now hold up now. We supposed to be pure. And you telling me you've been with somebody? And you gonna let me marry you? Who the baby daddy? <laughs> <laughs> now, you expect Joseph to believe that? Come on, y'all, talk to me. No, no, no. 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 I really no. 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 The guy he is, I'm sure he is. But, but, but he's a good man. Yeah. 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 But still, yeah. good men still got a problem dealing with some right. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Then you four months pregnant. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm <laughs> So, now, Joseph ain't buying this, y'all. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. And, and, and come on, man. You you know, how could you buy that? How, mm -hmm. how could you accept that? Who you pregnant for? Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, listen. This has never happened. It was prophesied. Mm -hmm. But this has never happened. And it never happened. We ain't, this not no test tube baby type of stuff. This, this woman can't do They didn't go, you know, out here, uh, what they do, simulate, whatever. You know, they, no, this ain't none of this. And I'm loving her. I love you. I, I really love you. But, but you pregnant. What I'm gonna do with you? You gotta get my ideas. We don't have any business. Indeed, you better go find that fella that that you quit. <laughs> y'all, 
Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> and look, she's sitting down there scared, just like, 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 like. Oh, she would be, Mary would be. Look, look how she said. She said like a mirror. She said like a mirror. So listen. And, and, and then Joseph, her husband, being a just man. man I'm a good man. I'm a pastor. I, I'm a love of God. You know, I believe in the, the law, mm -hmm. the Pentateuch. The law more. I believe in that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just man. He good man. I know I'm a good man. Joseph knew he was a good man. The Bible said Joseph is a good man. Face with a dilemma. Face, look, look. He faced with a dilemma. He's a just man. The law states. They got a righteous stone. Huh? You remember when they caught the woman? Look, the law said they could have stoned her. But where was the man at? Huh? She didn't have no man. So this is make it complicated. She's saying the Holy Spirit. So look. And not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. Now look, you know what Joseph's saying to himself? The best I can do for you, Mary, is just put you away quiet. Just tell me it just didn't work out with us. You know, I'm not going to make you a public example. I'm not going to let them bring the stone. But, but I, I just can't keep you. You, you, you got to go. Anybody again? Y'all look at me like I'm great. Y'all been faced with a dilemma. Mm -hmm. Whether you should go this way or that way. Mm -hmm. If you go that way, they're going to kill this girl. Mm -hmm. They're going to kill her. They're going to stone me, her and the baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. huh? So, remember. When you face with those type of things, what should you do? Number one, what should we do when we face with a dilemma? Pray. Pray. Give your direction. Now, what you really need to pray. Now, watch it now. I ain't the smartest. And I ain't the brightest crayon in the box, but I'm certainly one with a mother. Now, what is prayer then? Not a lot of hold up, y'all. Y'all too hold up. What is prayer? Huh? Communicate So what break break that down for me. You know I'm slow. What mean communicating with God? Talking to God. Huh? Talking to God. You're talking to God? Or you're talking with God? Now, let me ask y'all a question. When you say your prayer, and don't lie, we in church. I just want to get you on the right road. Do you wait and listen for God to talk back to you? Sometimes, 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 sometimes. Well, it ain't no com it's a conversation sometimes. Because prayer is a dialogue. Die mean two. Mine will mean one. Oh, Lord, help me with this. Bless me with that, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Y'all go. And some of y'all ain't get on your knees. You do lay down prayer. I get on Who will y'all do lay down prayer? Huh? Who do lay down prayer? Send some knee mail. Look, look, look. You know, sometimes, look, you, 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 you got to get on the knees, send some knee mail. You got to get on the knees, send some knee mail. I ain't say no email, I say knee mail. All right? Yeah. But, but, when you pray, Ask God for a word. A word. Ask Him for a word. And listen to me. 
you ever now look, don't fool me. If this never happened, y'all, just keep on staying on the journey. Mm -hmm. You ever was faced with a dilemma and you went to that Bible and you opened it up and it was right there with right you. Right there, yes. Right there. Yes. Don't fool me. Yes. Now. Anybody like that? Oh, yes. 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 oh, you could be my own bit. Yes. You're flipping yes. through the TV. Yes. Huh? Yes. And that's the word. Yeah. Yeah. Look, look, me and Dick John, oh, we was, me and them had a rough day that day. Someone come on the radio. Not quiet in the truck. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. Just to get us through. Yes. Now, this boy was dealing with something. Yes. You know, imagine that they didn't got all the. Big wedding set up, they didn't pick out the finest cab. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't got the best clothes. You know how you go. You gotta mm -hmm. go down to the tuxedo place. You gotta go get that nice dress. You know, you gotta send out all the invitations. All this stuff been sent out. Mm -hmm. See how I you face with a good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But why? You see, let me say something. Look, when y'all leave out here, y'all go jump. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all know what a conjunction is, right? Mm -hmm. huh? Anybody know what a conjunction? Mm -hmm. huh? A conjunction is this here. Uh, what's your real name? I don't want to call you by your name. <laughs> What's your nickname? Joyce. What y'all call? Joyce. Black Joyce. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. Uh, black gal. Boy, she really helped us at the, the giveaway. But black gal always frown. Forget about coffee helping at the giveaway. Is what comes after the but. Now let me help you. You got a but is a conjunction. But see, I found out, you know, that is what we call holy conjunction. You know, Joseph didn't make that big. Guess what? He wanted to put her away. But God. <laughs> Let me tell you something. See that? That's a holy conjunction. You know, listen, look, look. Kyoka had a brain tumor. Y'all. But God removed that, that holy conjunction. You know, I was down and out. But God came and lifted me up. Look, listen, I was dealing with a law in my life. But God came and put me on. Hallelujah. Now. That's what it said. But, 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 look, but, but while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, now, check this out. Before we, we're going to look at the A clock. If you was here the other night with Jacob. Mm -hmm. What are angels? What is their role? What is their job in the Bible? It's a messenger. And listen, if the angel bringing you a message, that means he's bringing you a word. Yes. Come on now, talk. Yeah. See, y'all got to know who really the clap. <laughs> y'all, y'all, somebody yeah. get the clap. And give it. Look, look, look. He's bringing you a word. Mm -hmm. Listen, although you down in the dumps with the blue, although you dealing with midnights at midday, although you, you you dealing with a sickness that the doctors say they can't do nothing for you, but God, yeah. send an angel, mm -hmm. send a word. That's, you know, if the angel didn't come, there's still a word because it's saying sign the time. God has spoken through the prophets mm -hmm. and Moses. Mm -hmm. But now, he's spoken through Jesus Christ. Hear ye mm -hmm. his word. Mm -hmm. His word. This, this, this word means the Logos. 
to know God. Who is the word? Talk to me. Talk to me. Yes. I, I ask Jesus the word. Talk to me. I just listen. I, I'm not trying to ensnare you. I'm trying to teach you. John says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was God. Huh? Now, how is that Jesus? You can't leave the 13th verse out. And it says, and the word became flesh and the world of mother. Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, the earth and the form of the And the spirit. Now, where was Jesus? It was that word. It was the word. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The word. So, when you face with your dilemma, Huh? Mm -hmm. you, you, you need some Jesus. Huh? Yeah, some situations where only God can fix it. Mm -hmm. That's the big trouble I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. huh? you, ever, you ever had, look, look, listen to me. Listen, I'm telling y'all this. My mother had a leaking heart valve. They couldn't do nothing for her. This is what the doctor said. Look, look, <coughs> we, she just too weak. She, she can't, she's not going to make it to the church. I'm telling y'all what God loves. God loves the truth. Reverend Johnson, Reverend Pado came by and me. And we prayed. And we asked God because the doctors couldn't do this. I, I talked to Brother Jew. His doctor was sick. He couldn't even do nothing with you. The doctor needed the doctor. <laughs> so, so, man, we go back the doctor said, well, let me look at this thing one more time to see if we could do something. No more leaking out there, but God. Yes. <laughs> Pray, asking God, it said, he's a healer of all manner of sickness and yes, he, is. he is that. But you got to trust him. Yes. You got to accept the word. Yes. All right? So look, it says, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all, this is not Joseph speaking, but this is John. Mm -hmm. Now, God, hold up here. <laughs> see, 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 y'all going to make like, you know, you can't talk to God mm -hmm. like that. You can't. Yeah. Look, look, Habakkuk put him on a, on a quiz. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, I mean, look, he quizzed God like, like, you know, they're on TV or something. You know? Now, nah, hold up, Lord. You want me to walk around here claiming his baby. I ain't going to be claim jumping. No, some guys don't mind claim junk. <laughs> I, I know that's not my baby. Mm -hmm. huh? But he's a just man. He, he's a humble man. Mm -hmm. But he still was faced with a dilemma. Mm -hmm. So look. Conceiving her is of the Holy Ghost. Now, that's bothering me. That would mess me up. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost impregnated, how this took place? <laughs> huh? How this took place? Leap them. You know? Y'all, check this out. It get, it, it, get, it get bad for me. It get bad. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt, now God want me to name the baby. <laughs> listen, listen. What, what he told Joseph be going to call it? Huh? Nah, it's not my baby. Then you want me to name it. <laughs> huh? Man, good thing you said name him Little John. Huh? He shall bring forth the son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. 
for he shall save his people from their sin. Yes. Look, you know what, what really made Joseph relax? Kind of let his thing start down. Mm -hmm. He said, Thou son of David. Mm -hmm. Look, that's one thing about it. It was proud of the ancestors. Mm -hmm. And David, yeah. you know, he was yeah. what the apple of God's own mm -hmm. Look, listen. When you say son of David, you were saying something to somebody. Yeah. You remember the lady called called Jesus by son of David. Look, look, it says that Jesus gotta come through that lineage. He said he's the, the stem of Jesse. Huh? Listen, he, he had to come through that lineage. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Solomon, he had to come. Jehoshaphat, he had to come through that root. Uh, uh, Rahab, he had to come through that lineage. So look, when, when the messenger talked to him, talked and spoke with him, he knew the messenger was talking some real stuff. Because he knew. He knew. They were Jews. They knew. They was proud of their heritage. They was proud of their lineage. They was proud of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Huh? Listen, if you had somebody famous in your family, when you say, oh, that's my auntie, wouldn't you be like that? They say, oh, look, he said, thou son of David. And they know Jesus had to come through that lineage. And it says, say, what does Jesus mean? What does the word Jesus mean? Huh? Huh? Come on, y'all can talk. What does, listen, we always say, help me, Lord Jesus. <laughs> what does that mean? Savior. 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 I'm not intimidating y'all. You can't tell me that. <laughs> Savior is not going to be, if you're wrong, we're going to get it right for you. Yeah. Yeah. Save. Yeah. He's our Savior. Savior. Yeah. And you know where we mess up at? We think he's only the savior for the spiritual part of us. But Jesus come to save every aspect of you. Man is a trichotomy. Body, soul, and spirit. Soul, self-conscious. Spirit, God-conscious. Body, world-conscious come to save every aspect of you. When Jesus rose, did he rise spiritually or physically? Huh? Talk to me. Yeah, because when they went there, they said, he's not here. Grave clothes fold up, lay it to the side. Save the whole man. So right then, we ought to be giving God some praise because guess what? We got a Savior and he's sweet. I know. Y'all keep coming. Listen. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophets, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Now, we got a few minutes. We're going to wrap it up. I won't get to that uh, little part. Now, how is he God? Is Jesus really God? Or he's the son of God? He's God. 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 Three. God, yes. Three. Hold on, hold on. Huh? Wait a minute. Do we worship a tritheism? God, try me three. Or do we worship a monotheism? Mono means one. How could he be one and he say he's Jesus? Talk to me. Hold on, I'm asking the question. Look, I'm, look, I'm one y'all to, to, to teach you now. 
How is he? He is all three in one. Is he one or he three? He three. three. No, he's not three. He's one. one. He's one. He's one. One God. He's one God. It's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. I know. Huh? We're going to get you. Look, look, look. Don't be embarrassed. Look, look. I know I'm a little raw. I'm raw. Huh? Judge, I'm a little raw. Okay? Check this out. This is the simplest way I can put it. Let's look at this room. You got height, you got depth, and you got width. That creates space. You can't have one without the other. Look at me. I'm the pastor, I'm Kyoko Hussman, and I'm my grandchildren, grandfather. How many am I? One word, you one person. One. Different attributes, but harmonious in all it's one. It's one. That's called the Trinity. So God had to wrap himself up in human flesh to come down here to save man. That's what he had to do. So here, then Joseph being raised from his sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him and took unto him his wife. Yes, and he knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son. And he called his name Jesus. She was a virgin even after she had Jesus. Now check this out. The key to everything tonight is obedience to the word that God gave you. Listen, you have to be obedient. Listen, listen. You got some things that's going to come and rock your world. It's going to, look, look, the devil is going to try to derail you off of that word that God give you. But just stay the code. Obey what God said. The end result is going to be always a win-win situation. Y'all talk to me. Now, 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 we got a few minutes. Uh, Bible trivia. Y'all got this here? Yeah. Uh, uh, Michelle got perfect attendance so far. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, she was obedient. What you want to buy? You want to buy a vowel count? Uh, anybody got it already figured out? Already figured out. Now, don't you say nothing then, because you're cheating. You're cheating. I'm a great puzzle. Huh? I'm a great puzzle. Yeah, but we ain't got to it yet, but you didn't done it. I'll just open the page. Okay. So, 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 you just open it? Yes, sir. Okay. So, who want, uh, anybody want to buy a, a, a vowel? Come on. Y'all got it? Who, who got it already? Y'all had a book? You ain't got a paper? Yeah, got a paper. Yeah, huh? Flip it. Flip it. Flip your pages. Hey. Flip your pages. Well, come on. What you want to buy? Oh. <laughs> Who want to be? Huh? You want to be? Where do you want to put that B at, Vern? Right next to the O. In the, in the front? No, behind it. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. OB. 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 All right, where's my pen at? Somebody throw my pen. Huh? Where it is? OB. Yeah. So that's what I'm telling you. It says that Joseph obeyed what the messenger told him to do. He married her. Listen to me. This is the question I ask. Did God ever tell you something already? He, if you read his word, he told you a lot of yeah, yeah. Listen. And you still disobeyed it? Okay. <laughs> you know, your mama and them told you to not do some things. Right, right. And you're done anyway. What was the result? Hmm. Uh, I, 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 I
right? Okay. Look, what do you think might have been the outcome of Mary's life had Joseph chosen not to marry her? What do you think the outcome would have been? Well, her and baby Jesus had a hard way. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hmm? Well, you know, they're going to stone them because they really, you know, you know, look, look at them. They, they almost were worse than me back then. <laughs> because back then, in the day, they said an eye for an eye. Yeah. Two for two. No, look, black girl, you take my eye, I'm going to take your hand. <laughs> look, if God revealed the answer to your most pressing problem, if so, write the problem below and explain how God provided guidance in that. But you ain't got to do that, because that might expose your, you know, confession is good for the soul, but it ain't good for the reputation. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> but, but listen, man, it's some things that I knew I should have done. And, and it was like, it wasn't like it was going to really cost him. And I didn't. I'm, I'm serious. And y'all, you ever had somebody tell you something and you didn't do it? And say, I told you something. Yeah. You ever had to deal with I told you something? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Listen, but you know what make God so amazing? What really make him so amazing? Even after he told me and I didn't do it, he never came and said, I told you so. He'd come back and fix that mess up. Amen. Yes. Amen. I just had to take the wrong way. That's right. Yes. You know, I'm serious. I, you know, y'all, y'all, I mean, maybe y'all don't experience like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 But 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 the key to knowing that is that But but the key tonight is obey, man. Yes. The message you can. The word God give you have come to you. Let me tell you something. Most of us, no, not most, all of us in here, that that problem that has been plaguing you and plaguing you and just don't want to go away is because you keep holding on to it. God has already told you. Amen. Yes. So, yes. it's decision making mm -hmm. time. Are you going to listen? to what God tells you to do. Mm -hmm. Stop making your way hard. Stop making your bed Thank hard. You, a hard head, I get this from Master Chief. A hard bed, a hard head, make a hard bed, therefore you sleep hard. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's, that's a bad sleep. Joseph listened to God in the midst of his dilemma. Hmm. So, you need to envision yourself. Envision that word that God has given you. If you can envision it and let it become a reality in your life, listen to me, y'all. I'm dogmatic about this. I'm frankly speaking. Listen to me. I'm serious when I'm telling you this. Now, do John White always do it? No, it's, it's for me too. But if you Trust God's word. You <laughs> obey that word. Things going to work out. Yes, 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 it will. Yes. I'm, I'm, listen, y'all, y'all, I'm telling you, I beseech you by the mercies of God. Try it. Yes. Stop holding on to those problems. Mm -hmm. Look, that Bible got all what we need. Yes, yes, yes. 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 We serve a great God. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Look, look at these characters we just went through. All of them had problems. All of them. Mm -hmm. Reverend, which way should we go? Go God's way. Yeah. Mm. Anybody here love God? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do I have any lovers of God? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Say, say like Joe Osteen. Are y'all receiving it? <laughs> 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 so, 
The back story for Joseph. And y'all kind of find out the back story of John Wayne. God is good. Yes, he is. Yes. For the mighty Thank you, Lord. Somebody, y'all cheated on that, that, that. <laughs> Yeah, what they call that the wheel. The wheel of fortune. Yeah, y'all cheat. Somebody cheat. I don't even know how to spell B. Huh? 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 Uh, for coming out yeah, and sharing with us. Yeah, you know, yeah, trying to get the younger people out here yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, anybody here this is around here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, listen. I hear it. I hear it. I see you y'all listen. No, I see it. <laughs> You know, we had a fun DMC. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 One day I come there, I, I like half a dollar, y'all. I really do. Uh, 50 cents, two quarters, whatever you want to call it. You know, many men wish that on you know, you know. But but I was listening to it because I got four sons. Four. Four sons. Just I got four of them. And in order for me to denounce what they listening to or what they doing. I first have to listen to it to see and understand where they come from. Right. Some of them rap songs, they talk to all the girl clothes off. Yeah. And the girl be popping to it. Like, take them off. Okay? Take them off. Now, I mess with my son one day. I got my little red car out there and meet me and them say, God did. You know, where they come from, they say, God did. It's a rap song. And they was giving all glory to God. Now, on one of them, when, when uh, what's that boy from New York, one married to Beyonce, what his name is? Jay-Z, huh? what his name is? Jay-Z. Okay. He wouldn't give God no prayer. So, when I listen at this stuff, I'm able to sort through was good was not. But you got this one rapper, he's so weary and dreary. He had little kids dealing with anxiety yes. and depression. Man, I forgot his name. Yes. Huh? Yes. Which one it is? Come on, y'all. Yes. Help yes. No, I forgot. Yes. Yes. No. But listen, so we're living in a time, I, I told him something. We can't live in the photo. So all y'all that took them selfies at this age, 20 more years from now, that selfie is not going to be the same. But you're going to think it's the same because it don't. But God have us in the video. We're moving with time. So tomorrow, we're going to have a guy that, he's a gospel rapper. Now, I understand the beat, but guess what? You listen to some of that stuff, Mary, Mary. And BB and CTY, you don't know if you up in the club or you up in church. Yeah. But I want to be open to the words that this brother speaks. Because if we don't do something with our young people and try to get they casualize their mind, yes. that means to reform their mind. I deal with them every day at work. They 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 on another planet. <laughs> so I try to adapt. I'm listening, I'm sitting in the truck. Oh, Lord, man, I got to listen to this. <laughs> but I have to go through it. <laughs> in order for me to give the best analysis that I could on what they do. But then they turn around and they listen to me. That's what opened up the door. 
And I've got to trust God's word. Yes. Yes. If they let me in the door with God's word, mm -hmm. why is God changed? Oh, yes. 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 Now, 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 I'm going to leave y'all with this here. You know how strong God's word is? Mm -hmm. God spoke the Son into existence a long time, time ago. That son That's right. That's how powerful God yes. is. Yes. yes. So we got to do something. Mm -hmm. Seriously, we, we got to do yes. something, man. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Anybody want a question? Anybody say I said something wrong? Get it right. Let's say it now. <laughs>